Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you guys can see, I got my stocking cap on because I'm going to be doing a review and a initial first impressions of this wig right here. This is the Model Model wig in the style Dream, color one, and it has a deep invisible L part. This is actually what the wig looks like right here. I'm just holding up the cart. All right, so I don't want to bore you guys to death with a 30 minute review video, so I'm just gonna jump right into it. It's pretty much meant to be worn this way like this. However, you could, you know, move it over to this side like here and wear it like that. However, I feel like I'm in a, a like emo pop band <laughs> when I'm wearing it this way, uh, which is actually not that bad. I bought this hair from samsbeauty.com and I'm pretty sure it was around like $22.99. They wouldn't let me price match. Um, but another store had it for $20.99 and then um, another store had it for like $24.99. So generally it's in the range between $20.99 and $24. Now first and foremost, I will say that this wig cap definitely is big head friendly. If you're like me, a person who has a really big head, who hates when your wig caps, you know, squeeze your dang brains out, you don't have to worry about that on this wig because it definitely is um, comfortable. Also, I really do like the fact that you can customize it to your liking. Now I, like I said, didn't do a lot with the parting of it. Um, I really just plucked a couple of hairs and then I put some concealer on it. Other thing that I love about this wig is the simple fact that not only is it short and I love short hair, however, it's super thick. Like the density of this wig is amazing um, because I hate when there's wigs that are short and it just looks stringy and it doesn't look full and it just looks horrible. However, you guys, that is basically where all of my pros stop at this wig. So let's get to the cons. And the most obvious thing, well to me anyway, because I have it on my head, is the lace. The lace on this wig is like horrible because it's super duper hard. I literally feel like I have a Brillo pad sitting on my edges right now. Like it's not comfortable whatsoever. Also, the lace doesn't lay 100% flat. As you guys can see, or if you guys can try to see, up at the front, it almost bunched up right here. I had this on for like 10 minutes and I already want to take it off. Okay, so like I was saying before, my freaking memory card got full. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the wig itself is lifting right here. Like, you guys see that? Like it does not lay flat whatsoever. You either have to like, glue that down, which I'm not about to do whatsoever because with this Brillo pad lace, I'm not laying that on uh, my edges. There's enough space in this cap if you have a big head. However, it's almost too big. I don't know if you guys watch uh, the YouTube channel All Deaf Digital, but there was this one episode where Doughboy um, said that John Cena's wig looked like it was baggy, and that's what I feel like this wig is. Like this is just a baggy wig. I have to keep trying to pull it down. Overall construction of it is just weird. Like these won't lay flat. It's bulky up here. I have to keep pulling it down. Even if I have the comb in, which is why I took it out in the first place, it's still baggy. Like I still have to pull it down. And I'm just like. <sniffs> also another con about this wig is it definitely does shed. Now I have ran my fingers through it, you know, quite a bit. Um, so I would expect it, you know, to shed a little bit here or there. However, just like sitting right here and like looking at my body and just looking at my floor, there's hair everywhere. And I'm just like. What the heck? So if this is how much hair sheds once, you know, I'm just doing like this with my fingers, I can only imagine how much hair would shed once you use an actual wig brush. Like, that's probably why it's so freaking thick is because they know you about to lose some hair. Another con that I have about this wig is when I first took it out the package, if I still have that video, I'll probably insert it. Overall quality of the wig, I just was expecting to be a little bit better, which leads me to my final point. Final con of this product. One thing that I absolutely hate is when either a product or an item or a brand gets super duper popular, which means that either, you know, their prices are gonna jump up or the quality is gonna go down. And I feel like that's almost what happened with this wig right here. Because this wig got super duper popular, they stopped making it the way that they used to make it, which I hate. And when I was watching videos of this wig from this year, People were saying the same thing, like it doesn't seem like the same wig anymore, seems like they changed some items to it. I actually tried to, uh, you know, bump the ends of some of the back pieces a little bit because they're just looking a little bit too straight for my liking and it would not take any type of heat. Like I tried to curl it, wouldn't curl, I tried to like straighten it to like bump the ends, it wouldn't even do that. So I'm just like, 
what the heck is up with this whole 400 degree temperature they're talking about when that didn't even work just for me to sum up my opinions of this wig i do love the fact that it's super duper affordable for 20 dollars, and i mean just looking at the wig on camera it doesn't look bad um and i do like the fact that it is so full and the density is definitely there and you can customize it however it sheds a lot it doesn't look like the wig that i originally wanted and it just hurts thank you guys so much for watching if you guys have any questions or any comments leave them down below so i can respond back to you guys also make sure you subscribe so you do not miss my next video which i think is going to be a haul video um and yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye why do i look like i got three kids I'm, I'm i'm going through some man problems i just i don't know how to describe it i just i just feel like super duper older when i wear this wig it, it doesn't it doesn't give me youth it, why does my lips look dry my, let me go get something to put on my lips because i don't want y'all to come for me don't come for me.